Hi moms, today we are back on Child and You for a special session with a pediatric ophthalmologist, Dr. Deepak Garg, a very close friend and a colleague of mine with tremendous amount of experience in kids' eyes. I'm Dr. Nihar Parekh and today we're going to embark on a special journey that deals with your kids' eyes. When to get his first eye checkup done? What are the common problems? How do I know my kid has numbers? We're going to tackle these issues one by one so you're a smarter and a happier mom. A very common, common question. Boys, girls running around, playing football, cricket, swimming, running around in dusty places, windy grounds. A lot of them come with something stuck in the eye. Suddenly out of somewhere something going in the eye and is extremely painful. They come running back with the jet, red, bloody eyes, watery eyes and in severe pain. Can't even look at the light, can't even shut their eye and they're crying. There are different injuries in the eye. A foreign body going into the eye, certain types of injuries in the eye. Deepa, can you sort it out what kind of injuries are to be taken as a panic situation? What injuries need to be left alone? And what injuries need to be seen by a doctor immediately? Good question, Dr. Nihar. Injuries are common, but most important thing to remember is any sort of injury, however mild it may appear to be, has to be seen by an ophthalmologist uh, in the clinic. You know, you can of course call up an ophthalmologist and talk to him over the phone, but the ophthalmologist needs to examine the eyes. In very young children um, who may not allow the doctor to examine, the doctor may even consider doing an examination under anesthesia where the child is put to sleep and then the doctor will examine the eyes and make sure there is nothing seriously wrong with the eye. Coming to the types of injuries, of course the most common would be what you just mentioned which is uh, a foreign body uh, going in the eye, a small piece of mm, a small piece of metal, a small piece of stone, sometimes a wing of a little insect that gets stuck in the eye and it causes immense amount of irritation, watering, itching uh, for the child and this small foreign body needs to be removed in the clinic. Uh, either we can do it while the child is awake, if the child is older or again uh, do it under anesthesia. There can of course be uh, different kinds of injuries, broadly we can classify them into a blunt injury or a perforating injury. As the name suggests, a blunt injury is one in which the integrity of the eyeball is maintained. The, the eyeball has not ruptured or broken. And of course a perforating injury is one in which the wall of the eyeball uh, has torn. A blunt injury causes inflammation inside the eye, it can cause bleeding inside the eye. Uh, usually blunt injuries are treated with medications. Uh, however, a perforating injury in which the wall of the eyeball has torn needs an emergency surgery. And uh, this, the importance of immediate treatment cannot be overemphasized. Uh, it is extremely important to get an eye examination and let the doctor decide about what is best for the injured eye. Here it is important, important for parents to remember that they should not try to remove a foreign object which has gone into the eye. They should not even try to put any eye drops on their own. All they should do is bring the child to the eye doctor let the eye doctor remove the foreign object and let the eye doctor decide which eye drop should be going in the eye. Tune into our channel, Child and You, for tips and guidance to raise a healthy child. Live now, live healthy, only with Shushruta. For any queries, you can write into us on or WhatsApp us on 9789-9789-9789.